And you'll just see with the, the young master. Um, went to entry a couple of times last year. Didn't didn't work out when you were there. But is the national again on the agenda? Yeah, Lewis to probably you know will go back to the beach or chase this year. Hopefully he can have a you know a good spin around there, a good confidence booster, and long term plan would be the Grand National. He's been a bit of a star, and he's it's hard to believe he's still only eight. He seems to have been around a long time, but he's uh, been good for the stable. Yeah, because he, you know, he's actually bred to be a flat horse. He's out of a sprinter, uh, echo of light, but he's a great jumper. He stays all day. I think he's just been a little bit unfortunate when it comes to the Grand National fences, but you know, we we'll give him another crack. Yeah, and hopefully, big one eight April time. Yeah, you if know, it all went that, to plan. That's the long term plan, anyway. Yeah. There's fences, no fear. <laughs> you, know, he, you know, obviously any horse can fall around there. Yeah. And then he, he did jump well in the beach or chase up until he got tired. Yeah, to see with Carol's Destria. Um, highlight of last year, Neil was second in the Hennessy, which was a, a brave run. Yeah, a great run. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get a prep run before that either. And he then went to Welsh National, pulled some muscles behind. And he's fresh and well this year, limited, limited mileage on the clock. And long, you know, it's not long term because it's very short term. But we'll be going back to this year's Hennessy. All going well. And the the uh, off season been good. Yeah, you know, he's had a great summer and he's happy. Um, his work is good at the moment. He more than likely go to Ascot for his first run of the season before say heading to Newbury. Yeah. Okay. And something similar to the last year with a bit of look at at Newbury. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Yeah, very happy with this lad. You know, I said last year and when I was interviewed that I wasn't happy with how he was or where he was. But this year, you know, he looks great. He's a little bit stronger. He won four out of his five races last year, but we still weren't completely happy with him. But hopefully this year he can, we can see a little bit more, get that little bit more out of him what we believe he is there. And what would you, could you map out a potential campaign or starting points and things like that? Yeah, you know, like he's, he's, he still has to walk into that next bracket. At the moment, he's a good, he's a good handicapper. Um, he could start off somewhere like the old Roan chase, or even the Colin Parker intermediate chase. But um, you know, the Paddy Power would be a nice race for him in yeah. Cheltenham. But he's just got the chance that the ground might be a little bit soft, so we don't want to have all our eggs in one one basket. And he's in such good form at the moment that um. I wouldn't be afraid uh, maybe to lean towards the old row and chase first. Neil with Pilgrim Bay here, um, a really productive first season for you. Um, the highlight probably being that win at Kempton when uh, he cruised up there with Jane's best. Is, uh, how's he been through his, uh, his summer break? He's had a real good summer. You know, we think he's got stronger, you know, mentally and physically. You know, he's, um, he just seems very co more confident horse than himself. Um, he, um, He'll, he'll go to Newbury for the what was known as the Hennessy. Um, obviously, it's changed the name now. Um, but yeah, he, he he'll go there. He'll have a prep run somewhere before then. But he's, he's in great form. And as you say, like to win that the bet right there was a fantastic, was fantastic for him on the CV. And you were just saying earlier that sort of flat track is really his his bag, is it? Yeah, you know, I I would suspect he'll go to Aintree Festival rather than Cheltenham Festival this year. Okay, yeah, really pleased with him though? Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a chase on, on the Saturday on the race and yeah. post day. I think he might even be called the bet right too. So, um, yeah, he's, he's a horse there that hopefully will give plenty of fun this year. Excellent, good luck. Cheers.